PNG men's under-18 national team were unable to attend the 2016 FIBA Oceania Championships due to financial constraints. CEO Joel Kalu said the federation fell short on reaching its original target of 150,000 to send both teams to the championships in Fiji Suva, but were only able to raise enough funds to only send one team, so the federation decided to send the women's team. Kalu said it was extremely disappointing for everybody involved because they have worked so hard in the past three months liaising to secure possible sponsors. Raising only half the amount, it was difficult for the board to decide to send only the women's team to Fiji so that PNG could at least have a representation at the championships. Uh, we thought it would be a good reflection for us as a federation to still have one team go. Uh, and look, the, the decision was based on us as a federation wanted to show encouragement and support of our women's athletes and really be a federation that leads the way in supporting you know, our females as they progress up the pathway. So look, bitterly disappointing for, for the men's team, but as we said, we've got some alternative plans for them to try and get down to Cairns and, and play some games and still have the chance to represent their country. Meanwhile, Carlos said a cost-effective travel arrangements for the men's side has been arranged so that they can travel to far north Queensland to play at an international standard to gain international exposure. Look, I've obviously got some connections in Cairns being from there and having played there and coached there for many years. So I've been talking to uh, Cairns basketball in particular about getting some exhibition games against the representative sides. I've had some discussions with the Cairns Taipans uh, NBL club about trying to get some, uh, you know, some competition against some of their Taipans Academy athletes. So look, it's a tremendous chance for the boys to get seen on an international stage. Uh, part of that tour will uh, allow the players to go and watch an NBL game, which, you know, for them is going to be a huge experience. Um, so, look, we're, we're excited about it. As we said, like, it, it, it's still, while it's not representing at the Oceania Championship, it, it still puts them on the international stage. And for us, we're excited to see, you know, how they go at that level, because it's definitely going to be intense. Godwin Eki, National MTV Sports.